Hey guys, welcome back to Pepper Geek. Today I'm going to be making habanero sugar cookies. So Halloween is tomorrow, and when this time of year rolls around, we love experimenting in the kitchen to see what kind of sweet treats we can also make spicy. So every year around this time, we usually put out kind of a sweet trick-or-treat video. Last year we made spicy lollipops, and the year before that we did spicy gummy bears. So this year is spicy cookies, and I'm super excited to try it. So we recently had a subscriber reach out on YouTube in our comments saying you have to try habanero sugar cookies. And we've never made spicy cookies before, so I'm very excited to try this recipe and try it for the first time with you guys. So this time of year, we always have lots of peppers in the garden to use up, and today I'm going to be using five habanero peppers, as well as a basic sugar cookie recipe, and combining the two and seeing how it comes out. Well, I am going to blanch the habanero peppers in milk to kind of dull down the heat a little bit so they're not too spicy for the cookies. So just for texture reasons, I am going to de-seed the peppers because I don't want seeds in my sugar cookies. And I'm also going to chop them on the smaller side to prevent any large chunks of pepper in the sugar cookie. So this recipe consists of sugar, flour, baking powder, salt, the habanero peppers, egg, vanilla extract, and room temperature butter. So I'm going to slice and de-seed all of the hot peppers before soaking them in the milk. So I'm definitely going to wear gloves for this part because these peppers are pretty spicy. Alright, so now that the habanero peppers are all finely chopped, I'm going to throw them into the hot milk. So you don't want to boil the milk, just heat it up on the stovetop until it's just about to boil. Take it off the heat and then add the habanero peppers in. After the habanero peppers have been sitting in the hot milk for about five minutes, I'm going to drain them and set them aside to cool before putting them in the cookie dough. Alright, now that the habanero peppers are sitting in the milk for about five minutes and cooling down a bit, I'm going to make the sugar cookie dough. So the first thing I'm going to do is whisk the dry ingredients together with the exception of the sugar. So the baking powder and the salt are going to go in. And again, this is a really basic sugar cookie recipe, so if you do have a favorite one that you like to use, just use that instead. The next thing I'm going to do is add the butter, which is room temperature, to the sugar. And then I'm going to beat the butter into the sugar until it's nice and creamy. Alright, now that the butter and sugar are creamed, I'm going to add the egg and vanilla next. After the vanilla and egg are added, I'm going to add all of the dry ingredients and mix really well. Okay. Alright, so this is about 80% mixed, I'm going to add the habanero peppers in now. So the habanero peppers soaked in the milk for about 5 minutes and I drained them, I did not rinse them with water. And I'm just going to dump them in and finish mixing the dough. Alright, so the cookie dough is all mixed together with the habanero peppers, and I'm going to let it chill in the fridge for at least an hour. If you can chill it longer than that, that's great, but I always suggest chilling for at least an hour if you're making any sort of cookies. So the cookie dough has been chilling for about an hour and 20 minutes, and I just formed them into cookie shapes. So far, they look pretty festive. I love the fun orange color, and I think they're going to be perfect for Halloween. I'm going to bake these at 350 degrees for about 13 minutes. Alright, so these baked for 13 minutes, and it is worth mentioning that this is half of the cookie dough, the rest is still chilling in the fridge. So it's time to try our first ever spicy pepper sugar cookies. They smell so good, they look good. Yeah. And I did let them cool for what, about 10 minutes? Yep. So they wouldn't fall apart. Still and they're, warm. Yeah, they seem perfect. Figured you'd want three, so. <laughs> Yeah, they smell they, oddly savory almost. Yeah, they do. It smells like dehydrated. It's an interesting combination because I smell the peppers in there, but it also smells like vanilla and cookies and... Dig in. Oh, they're really good. And you know, they're not spicy really at all. Like if I were to give one of these as a prank to somebody on Halloween, 
I wouldn't feel bad because it's not gonna put yeah, anybody in a lot of there, pain. There is heat, but it's very minor, especially mm -hmm. considering the habaneros. I tasted these habaneros, we grew them ourselves, and they were hot, so taking out that placenta and the seeds, and then I guess the milk, so maybe there's something about soaking in the milk. Maybe we made some spicy milk. We should have tasted that. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, the flavor of the pepper and the spice kind of comes in afterwards. It's really good. It's it's just a tasty cookie. And they're kind of pretty. You know something's going on. It's not like a sleeper. You could do this with powder, but by leaving the flex, it's kind of like, oh, what's in those cookies, you know? And then no one's caught off guard because there is heat. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely getting some heat, but it's not habanero heat. You just get the flavor and a little bit of warmth. It's nice. Yeah, it's very mild. So I think five peppers was the perfect ratio for that amount of cookie dough as well because it's not an overwhelming amount of strange texture. Yeah, so that being said, I think we're gonna leave these out for our friends at our Halloween party and see who gets tricked or treated. So thanks again to Matt for the suggestion and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.